Hey guys, welcome back to J-Spot. Today I will be showing you how I do my coily slash finger cool type style twist with flexi rods. These are the two sizes I'll be using. I only have a pack, I think of eight with these ones. That's why I'll be just using two of them. But I have a lot more in this one. I've had these for so many years, so I do not know the exact size, nor do I know how much packs I got. I don't think I got a lot. I think I only had got two packs for these ones and just one pack. I know for a fact one pack for this length. So I'll show you the exact steps, everything I use from the products to the type, the, a lot, okay? <laughs> I'll be showing you everything. I'll be doing the back first off camera and then I'll come back to do the front with you guys. And can you give me four? Okay, I will. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go off camera, then I'll be back to show you the exact way I do it from start to finish. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. So I washed my hair yesterday morning and I deep conditioned it and everything. Then I just oiled my scalp and moisturized my hair and braided it that's why it's like all curly and stuff right now but i braided it so that my hair is fully dry when i do this style because i don't really like doing it on very wet hair or nor do i like yeah that actually that's it that's it so i like to have it on dry hair and stretched hair so that's why i braided it so that it's more elongated and so that i don't have to blow dry it i try to stay far away as possible to heat as i can and so yeah you can still get much length when you undo these and you like stretch it out as the days go on they it gets bigger and longer and everything so yes i'm doing it on stretched hair it is oily it is kind of oily so that's why i'm a little bit afraid because i don't like to put too much oil because oil makes frizz too at the end for the end product so we'll see but i hope you enjoy this video so, so I'm back, I'm gonna do this section, the back. Separate it into two. I'm gonna get my miele, miel, uh, pomegranate and honey twisting souffle. I have a little water here too, to dip just a little to let it glide nicely. And then I'm gonna get a little gel of this gel plus I have this gel so Eker Styler and the Blueberry Bliss by the Curls brand I'm just gonna dip a little not to the point where it gets super wet but the point where it's nice and smooth and then I'm gonna get that get my flex rod so I try to put a lot of grip hold it and then I put the flexi rod like that so like this to get a grip then I bend it just like that so it holds and then I grab this again hold it back and then I start to just twirl put my finger underneath so it smooths it out when I'm twirling just always keep a like hard grip And I just swirl down. Like I was saying, the front of my hair is a lot shorter so than the back, so I don't have to overlap too much. Mostly at the end, but I like to get a little gel at the end so that it stays. And then I just keep going like that. Period! Now I know I've been doing this for a long time, so it may seem a lot easier, but keep doing it like literally just keep doing it keep going at it if it doesn't come out how you want the next time try again i usually leave it in for two days if i if i know i'm not going anywhere and i'm not but i think i'll leave it in just for a day like till tomorrow and then i'll take it out and show you guys i'm putting my twisting cream in it again a little water like a dab of water and i'm putting a little product you should know i guess how much product you shouldn't be putting a lot of product 
but you should know how much product your hair probably needs. But my suggestion to you would just be like, so this is how much I use the product or even less because it's pretty thick and the water helps get it everywhere. Then gel, again, just a little, right? Just a little, comb it out. Let me show you again. This time I'll show you with the bigger one. So, again, I'm just going in. Bent it. I put I get this finger and I put it at the back to hold it. And then I start twirling. Now sometimes the top of it, the top that you bend can unravel. So I'll show you what I would do if that happens. Get a little gel because it's kind of dry. Not dry, but not smooth enough to lay. See, sometimes it started, it gets out of hand, like, it doesn't, but it hot. It's like really rough. Cool. So this is how I would do it. See how there's still a little space? I open it, and I twist it up, and then I close it again. down, grab, put it down, so you put it down, some gel to seal it you can also just use your curling thing if you don't want to use any gel make sure it's secured you know and while I'm doing it you see how it sticks out I like to just bend it in a little bit just a little bit get some water because this is feeling a little dry not gonna lie not like not dry because I told you it's greasy, but like dry in the sense that to wrap it, it, you need to make it feel smooth for a smooth look. This one's a longer piece, but I'll show you how to do long. I'm gonna show you right now how to do a long piece. This is a pretty long piece compared. So look at the size. So I'll show you how to do. I do the long pieces. So again, hold it down at the top. Or on the side but I'm doing it at the top because it's a thick piece vertically so I bend it hold it with the other hand I just keep switching hands and wrapping it around Good out. It looks good in a ponytail. Actually, I think I'm using a lot more than five now. I usually use like five to six, but right now I'm using a little bit more. But like I said before, you still can do it. You just do bigger sections, and when you're grabbing your hair, you just put more product so that it comes out like there, like it's more easy to. Yeah. So while you're going through it, sometimes you do need to adjust it. Like you have to have full control of this whole rod. You need to hold it tight, and holding it tight sometimes is just holding your hair tight. Like it'll stay stiff enough. See, I'm coming to the end and look how much hair I still have. 
sorry. I'm going to even go up a little. And so I finished this side. This is how it looks. They're nice and shiny. I like to rake my hands through the hair so it's like combing it too. Keep it flat on your thing, your thumb so that you can, you know? I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm doing enough blocking or not enough, but please let me know in the comments so that I can always do better for my next hair videos, especially as that has a lot of detail. Please tell me the details, more details that you want to know, but that's it. This one will not go down, and they won't. It's hard to sleep. It is, but I can actually show you, I will show you right now, how I still tie it down. I would suggest using maybe a big, if you have a big bonnet, which I did have, that I've lost, so I've been using my silk to tie. So, put it into a triangle. Go like this, go over. And what I do is I just basically try to push the hair to the sides and still, you know, it's not going to be tight, but, and then just tie it, so, yeah. <laughs> so, I will be back tomorrow, or in two days, but most likely tomorrow if it's dry, and I will be showing you the look. So it's the next day, I've taken them out. I haven't unraveled it, but I'm just gonna take the rest out with you and show you how I do it. Now, I said in the beginning of the video that my hair was already oily from when I washed it, so that is why I will not be using any oil to take them out. Usually I'll get something like olive oil and put it in my hands lightly and then take it out so that you're adding some moisture in your hair. So let's take these out. So I undo it. And then I go down like this, or sometimes you can go like this. I just sometimes don't do it this way because it may get caught. So, yeah. And that's it. And then it comes out. Looks like this. That is it. So now I'm going to show you how I unravel it. So. So I go to the back, I have one in the back, right? I like to twirl a little bit out, right? And you can find, you can feel the parting almost. So you find your parting, find what feels right, and then release from the bottom and twirl back up. And then you have two pieces. You can do it, you just have to feel it, I think. I'm so used to doing this, so. I just feel wherever it feels right and even if it gets frizzy like that all you do is coil it back you coil it back this hairstyle is like so versatile it gets so big like right now it's very short it's very short but sometimes I get my blow dryer on cool I just go to the ends of my hair like the scalp. It goes to the scalp of my hair and stretch it like that. So this is her. This is the final look. This is back. The back is still parted, right? So I get, um, let me get it. I can't find my pick, but I'm just using a comb. But basically what I, to stretch it, I just grab it and go like that. And then it makes it bigger the difference I don't want to pick it too much right now because it's the first day and it's honestly gonna get so much bigger like it gets bigger as you go to bed you should put it in a pineapple which means you just put it all up and then put your head tie on and then sleep my curls don't usually ruin when I do that at all, and if it does flatten, 
I just again separate it, twirl it, and this is a new curl. So yeah, these are it. But yeah, that's how I achieved this look with the flexi rods. I highly suggest them and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, this came out very well. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.